ever wondered how a fortress full of barbarians would handle an attack from five T-Rexes? Well, folks, we're going to answer that here today for some reason. Because today we're playing Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Think of this being like tabs, except for, I would say, even more random and ten times more dinosaur. So all we're going to do is click the start button and let the chaos begin. And oh, dear. What is happening? Oh, this is a bad mistake. Um, oh, and look, all the people are starting to fall off the wall for some reason. Uh, oh dear, oh, they're getting ripped apart. No, this is fine. I mean, certainly the wall's gonna hold up, right? Uh, oh boy, how would you like to be one of those barbarians and, oh no, oh, they're crashing through. Oh, there's bodies flying through the sky. So if you pick the, uh, the barbarians to win, uh, I don't think this is actually gonna work out. By the way, that one just got shot in the butt cheek. That's kind of random. Wait, do miracles happen? I think they've got the T-Rexes stuck. Look at that, they're getting stuck on the walls. I think the barbarians have a chance here. Holy man, they're shooting the T-Rex in the butt there. Nope. Wow. By the way, I lost because supposedly that was the computer opponents. Well, folks, this is gonna be a messy episode. So this is a really random game. I do want to thank Fudgy for introducing me to this game because I've been watching some of his videos on it. And I'm like, this looks absolutely incredible. So later in the episode, we're going to try to create just absolutely massive battles on a huge map. We might even throw in Godzilla, Siren Head, and a bunch of other random creations. But first, I want to recreate the first battle here, except for I want like 20 T-Rexes. Because I want to see the T-Rexes win, not the Barbarians. All right, we're ready to go. Boom, they're charging in and oh, this already looks 10 times better and they're going straight for the fort. All right, so the army out front is totally screwed and the walls are starting to collapse. That is insane looking. Oh, this might be my new favorite battle simulator game. Like I kind of like tabs, but look at this. Does tabs give you this many dinosaurs? I don't think so. Oh boy. So by the way, if you think the barbarians are going to win, hit that thumbs up button. If you think the T-Rexes are going to win, also hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of this game on the channel, be sure to have that thumbs up button clicked. By the way, there's a guy hiding back here and oh, they're falling off. Oh dear. Oh, oh, you can hear the crunching. So I think the barbarians are starting to use the debris as shelter because there's barbarians down here and the t-rexes are trying to uh trying to get in there and i don't know what's happening right now i feel like the t-rexes might have won this fight here because there's no way the barbarians survived that you know i think we're gonna go ahead and call it here the t-rex have won all right so we are in the normal sandbox mode and as you can see there is a ton of stuff you can spawn you have animals everything from dinosaurs to humans to massive reptiles it's really cool looking you've got weapons and a lot of these weapons you can add uh, to the creatures you've got buildings and then you have the landscape uh, where you can create your own map here so i want to grab let's go ahead and grab some of the ancient humans uh we've got the spartans here oh these look really cool so how many of these can i get away with spawning let's just start spawning these in here this is already amazing because look at this army we have. So at what point do I break the game and it just lags? Uh, I'm not really sure. So we could have a normal fight here. I mean, we could totally just do knights on the other side. So I guess this doesn't make it animal battle simulator anymore, does it? It's just now humans. Okay, well, it's actually not running terrible. And oh, look at that. Here they go. And ooh, wait, okay, now it's running terrible. I think we found the limit. Uh... What is even happening here? I feel like the Spartans are winning, whatever is happening. And oh, it's getting uh, quite colorful there on the floor. <laughs> okay, note to self, don't spawn this many people in. Everything's shaking right now. All right, so more important question. Could the Spartans defeat a dinosaur army? All right, here we go. All right, they're charging in. So what are the Spartans gonna do? Oh, oh. Okay, so I feel like the humans... Oh, they're like ripping them apart! I've seen pieces go flying! Uh, oh, this is getting violent. Uh, buddy. Wait, they did it! They defeated the Spinosaurus! How many are still left? Like, what's the casualty report? 
That really needs to be a thing. We need like a stats page. Uh, well, that worked out. So there is some building stuff here. So you got like stone, wood, cemetery. That's kind of weird. Uh, there's some gates here. We could totally build a fort. Uh, there's an animal spawner. So you've got that. So it looks like we have a little castle. Let's place this bad boy in. So we're going to make, ooh, this is actually a really, really little castle. So we're going to put that in. Let's put a bunker in it real quick. Is this aim the right way? Let's go maybe here. So there is like the home base and there's the castle. So we got to have something to protect this. So we're going to go back to animal fights here, but we're going to use something a little bit different. We're going to use the Titan Boa. Oh, this isn't as big as I thought it would be. Uh, it's still pretty massive. So we have a snake army. Uh, we got ooh, crocodiles. What about this one? Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, let's put a couple saltwater crocs in there. So, I mean, they're going to have to pretty much break the walls in order to get in, right? Let's go ahead and put some anacondas. I uh, hope you guys aren't afraid of snakes. Oh, dear. This is a creepy looking army. You know what? Let's make it everybody's fear. Do we have any sort of spiders or anything? Yep, we have spiders. Oh, dear. Okay, this is already creepy. All right, so let's do some spiders. Uh, we have some scorpions. The poor people inside. Let's hope they can hold off here. And then you know what? It's Earth Defense Force. We're going to go ahead and add some ants here. There we go. That is absolutely beautiful. So, as far as what's on the inside, we need to have some normal humans, and then we'll have some people defending the walls. So, the wall people are going to be the uh, the people with the guns here, so we'll stick some up here. Stick them along the top here. Seems like a very unsafe place to be. Let's stick a line of them down here, and then we'll uh, group them up at the other towers real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, we got some guys with some shotguns, so we have them... And then we're going to put some Angry Joes in the uh, in the actual bunker. Can I stick people in the bunker? Is that a thing? I don't think I can. Here, we'll stick them on top. So you guys just hang out up here. All right, so in order to help the humans real quick, we're going to add a couple things. Let's add some landmines. All right, so I don't know how well these work, but we're sticking them out here. And I guess they're on team one, so I guess that works. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that was... Okay, landmines were way too close. Oh. Oh, that's just creepy. Oh, look at the Titan Boas. Wait, can they destroy this bunker? <gasps> Wait, are they going into the... Oh, they're going into the bunker. Oh, that's creepy. So, yeah, if there were people in there, they would totally be dead. Okay, note to self. We need to change the placement of the landmines. You know, I think at this point I have the uh, the bug army or the bug and reptile army like way too close to the wall. Uh, there's like no time, but we know the landmines work, so that's a positive. So let's try this again without blowing up the front line here. All right, here we go. Oh, the gate doesn't close in time. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, people are dying. You know, the gas actually works pretty good. It knocks stuff out at least for a little bit, but I don't think it really matters, does it? Nope. Nope, it doesn't matter at all. Oh, dear. Okay. Yep. So, Fort Survival is definitely not a thing. At least not with this spawn. This is probably a mistake. Wow, oh, wait, look, there's a guy in here. Look at him. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, that poor little soul. He's totally not going to die back there. This is great. So, there really needs to be a nuke or something. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought this building could be destroyed. Uh, the one human's safe. So, there is a lone survivor here. But, I'm going to go ahead and say they lost. Okay, so now I have a question. How do we put armor on a dinosaur? So, if I grab a T-Rex here. Okay, this is Mr. T-Rex. He looks pretty cool. We can customize some stuff. Like AI modes, detection distance, uh, hit power, and attack. But how do I stick stuff to it? I can add punchers. Wait, bone spikes. Dude, these look cool. Do these just automatically stick to the animal? Hold on, let's get the big one here. Oh. Oh, that is sweet that you can do that. We can make a nasty looking T-Rex. Look at that. That's cool. Does stuff stick to that? That's a good question. We need to let this T-Rex eat. Uh, hold on. Let's just stick spikes all over it. It's just going to be a spiky boy. 
All right, so my T-Rex looks really freaky. So we got Bold Billy here. And, uh, oh, yeah, we need to set him to Team 2. Yeah, well, how do you think he's going to fare? Hold on, let's go full speed. Oh, no. Oh, okay, Han. They're good. Is he going to get stuck to the spikes? Wait, they just kicked the T-Rex. Oh! You know, we need, like, a lower animal, I think, for the spikes to work. Uh, oh, he just flung that one guy. Poor dude. Uh, can I grab the weapon? I need to figure out how that works. And Oh, he's going to eat him. On, you need to get stuck on one of those spikes. Ooh, I should have put spikes on the tail. Like, that would have been perfect. But this thing looks creepy. Oh, oh, he's biting him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, he just pinned him to the ground. So we can add tentacles. All right, so there is animal weapons. So we could totally uh, attach guns to a T-Rex. That's insane that you can do that. And we're probably going to have to because we have a challenge that's about to happen. Uh, we're going to pull out Godzilla. So let's get two T-Rexes here. And then we're going to equip these with animal weapons. Oh, there's armor too. We, they might need that. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the... Wait, what does dynamite do? Does that just blow up the animal or what happens there? I don't know. All right. So they're going to have machine guns mounted to their backs. This is insane. And then here's a spike here. Wait, how does this spike work? Is this like the last one or does this one shoot out? All right, and also we need to put some missile launchers on their backs. I feel like these just go straight in the air. So we'll go boom and boom. And what we're going to spawn in is the workshop prefabs here. So I have like Burning Godzilla, Godzilla in 2019. Uh, I've got King Kong. And then I do have a siren head. Huh? Let's do Godzilla real quick. So we spawn this in. So this is a, uh, a prefab. So basically, it's, I wonder what animal this is. It's one of the animals in the game, and then they put armor on it, and it, it looks like Godzilla, obviously. So, you know what? I have a better idea. This is going to be Team 1, and then Team 2, let's add this bad boy. So this is going to be a battle here. Look at that. Oh, yes. So what's going to happen? I don't know. Let's start this up. All right, so the big ones are fighting. And look at that. Oh, there's the missile launchers. Oh, that works so well. But I feel like we're going to be at a stalemate here. Look at the amount of armor on the prefab ones. Like, how do you even do damage to them? I mean, obviously, Godzilla's doing a good job of pushing the other one over, but uh, I don't feel like anything's actually going to happen here. Uh, look at the little ones. The little uh, T-Rexes are trying to push their way in, and their machine guns are just going off like crazy, but they can't really do anything. Oh, this is incredible looking. Oh, wait. Did Godzilla just fall? Is he dead or he just fall over? Uh oh Wait, they're pushing him to the end of the map. Oh, no. Wait, can they actually fall off this? It oh, I think there's an invisible wall there. Oh, it would have been amazing. Wait, never mind. There is not an invisible wall. Oh, no. Godzilla's going down. Uh-oh. <gasps> what? Uh, well, the T-Rex is one. Uh, that was really, really random. So stuff explodes into a million pieces when it falls off the map. I like that. So that last fight was really, really random. So what we're going to do here, let's go and add a little village here. And we're going to have the Titans face off. We're going to do Mecha Siren Head versus Godzilla. Who do you guys think is going to win? We're not going to have any interruptions from any of the other creatures. It's just going to be them two. By the way, we're going to go ahead and do Mecha Godzilla because look at that. Oh, it's actually kind of small. Oh, uh, wait, what is Godzilla 2019? Okay, that one's definitely a lot bigger. You know what? We'll do two siren heads on team two. So this is going to be a face off of the ages. And whoa, those things are big. All right, let's see him go. What are they? Dude, that looks cool. Wait, okay, one just fell over. Are you guys gonna attack each other? Or... Wait, why is everybody like moonwalking away from each other? Did everybody lose interest in fighting? You're team one, you're team two. Did they not see each other? This is the most confusing thing I've ever seen. They just, they don't care. They absolutely don't care about each other. By the way, this siren head looks really, really neat. Um, okay. Well, okay, so we have a new setup here. They're a lot closer. You guys finally gonna attack? There we go. Also, I stuck a different hut there. They just go right through them and, oh, what's happening? Um, okay, so who's gonna win here? You know, I know the uh, Godzillas are shorter 
But I feel like the uh, the siren heads are just big and bulky. Like I'm not sure they're doing damage to each other. And oh, the one just fell. Wait, is there a chance they're getting through the siren head's armor? Uh, maybe. By the way, the siren head looks freaky. Look at the arms it's got. Jeez. All right, so they're fighting here. Let's see. Is anybody actually going to win here? I feel like they might have too much armor. Uh oh, wait. Wait, they're pushing the siren head back. There's a chance they're going with the we're going to push you off the map again technique. Wait, I'm seeing blood being drawn. So somebody's getting through armor. But who is it? I feel like it's Mecha Godzilla, the small one. I feel like it's actually stabbing through the siren head. Now, there's a chance it might actually fall here. Oh, man, this is cool looking. So I guess I've got another question here. What kind of hit power do these big things have? Like, can they take a, just an absolute ton of hits? Uh, it seems like they can because this one's been getting stabbed and it's got rockets hitting it. And almost nothing's happening. And this Siren Head over here has been in constant pursuit. Oh, here we go. Siren Head 1 is about to fall off and there he goes. Oh, the explosion though. But look at this. Uh oh. <gasps> Wait, what the heck? The big Godzilla's down. It's just Mecha Godzilla and Siren Head right now. Wait, is the big one down? Is it? Oh, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> By the way, it was like Godzilla in disguise. All right, now the tables have turned. Wait a minute. Mecha Godzilla fell for a second. Oh, who's actually winning here? I can't tell. Also, it looks like Mecha Godzilla just hit Siren Head in the groin. Jeez. All right, something's happening here. I think they're stuck together. Oh, one of them's just bleeding. I think, does Mechagodzilla, uh oh, what's happening? I'm getting a lot of lag. I think Mechagodzilla was stuck inside of Siren Head there for a second. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're heading back towards the end. There's a chance it might be over. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, it's gonna be so close. Who gets pushed off here? Oh, they're gonna switch around. Uh oh. Okay, I don't know who's gonna win. Oh no, here he goes once again. How is the little guy winning in this fight? I don't know, Siren Head's trying to stay on. Okay, so the tables keep turning. I feel like, man, I can't tell who's actually winning. Like, at one point it looked like uh, Mecha Godzilla has got the upper hand and then Siren Head will turn around and like stab him with his foot and he'll get stuck and just pummeled into the ground. Uh, the fights in here are actually really good. Even though it looks like a bunch of ragdolls that are just flopping around, it's still pretty entertaining. Oh man, the fighting's so intense. Oh, what the heck? Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mechagodzilla was defeated by Siren Head. Well, folks, you have your champion. Siren Head has won. Well, if you guys have any suggestions for this game, any battles you wanna see, let me know down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you guys next time.